All right, this gentleman I'm about to bring in, he's from Cincinnati, Ohio. He's familiar to many. He has a new song out called Glory Up. He's the one and only Isaiah Friedman. How you doing, sir? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, man. Listen, bro, bro, bro. I am digging. I'm, I'm digging the song, man. I'm, dig, I'm, I'm digging the song. I, lo- I love it because I'm not going to lie to you. You know who I thought you were, right? Nah, talk, <laughs> tell me, tell me. <laughs> I thought you were. <laughs> I said, man, did Fred Hammond slip inside of here and start dropping some bars, man? <laughs> I, heard, I was like, wait a minute. Is that shout big out Fred? to Fred. Shout, shout, shout out, out to Fred, Fred. right? <laughs> that, that, that's amazing, man. So so what's going on, man? You know, what is God doing with this track that you have here? Man, listen, I'm I'm I am just standing in in awe of what God is doing. I prayed over this over this song when when we finished it. And I was just praying. I said, God, just breathe on it. Just breathe on it. Put my name on the wind. And he's doing just that. And I'm I'm blown away by the response, honestly. <laughs> you know, I'm blown away by Man. it. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you know it's, I'm going to tell you right now, it's refreshing. I'm going to tell you why it's refreshing. Because yeah. but, uh, to me, I, I, cause I'm in Philly, man. Philly is like a traditional gospel that's what they like to be me so i'm cool. I always been a little left to center i always been uh you know i hit you with some lecrae and then yeah, i come yeah, back yeah. over to uh <laughs> don moen i don't yeah. know if you know who don moen is yeah, I know don moen. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's my man that's my baby yeah. man then i did you know what i mean then i then i'm lacing you up with some fred or somebody man so yeah uh, yeah i do a little bit of everything because i'm on a secular station too so playlist has to be like uh diverse Exactly, yeah. easy pal- palatable, man. That people yeah. understand where I'm coming from, but you know your song is is beautiful, man. So it, it's good because it has a Caribbean feel to it, mm. and yet it still holds that that the base of traditional gospel. So people yeah. won't run. So they like they want to run, but like hey, yo, I, I'm hearing too much Caribbean, but I gotta come back because yeah. you know what I mean. I hear the roots in there. Yeah, it's <laughs> in there. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly it's, it's Prego, baby. That's right. Yeah, so um, there. yeah. So was that intentional that you did that? Absolutely. That's, that's, <laughs> it was absolutely intentional. I when I when I started writing the song, um, I was just like, oh, I want to put a uh, uh, Afro-Caribbean vibe on this, but I wanted to still have that gospel feel. Yeah. And so we played around with it. Um, my producer, uh, Aunt Parrish, we played around with some ideas or whatever. It didn't take long to, to find us like, ah, give me a, just a little bit more gospel in there. A yeah. little bit, just a little bit more. Um, oh, okay, I need a little bit more of that, of that career. I need a little bit more of that. And, you know, we we worked it out, and that's that was absolutely intentional. Yeah, man. So yeah, so the the, the big thing um uh about when you when you do stuff like that yeah. is sometimes people will take their whole album and do that. They'd be like, you know what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of this, a little bit yeah. of that. I'm gonna let you know I rap, and I'm gonna let you. Yeah. Know I was like, and I'm like, yo, you, you kind of better off. Like me, just listening to music a lot. I go, you, you kind of better off, like infusing it in your music, opposed yeah. to trying to make a a whole hip hop track, a whole yeah. thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, yeah. Because no one now, I don't know where you're coming from. Yeah, but this way, I still know that you're your gospel. And that oh, you're, yeah. you know what I mean? That you're, you, you're sinner. Because people, you know, they label you not saved. As soon, as soon as you put one little R&B riff yeah. in anything, they be like, oh, no, he, he ain't in the church. <laughs> yeah, he ain't living nothing. <laughs> man, we so confused, man. But no, <laughs> no, but, um, but, but I'm loving it, man. So, um, so w- like, what are your, um, you know, you doing this and God is, is like opening doors for you. Like, yeah. what is your desire um, for this? for your CD and for your tracks? Like what do you, what does God has shown you for you to do? Man, listen, this is, this song in particular, glory up is all about redirecting our attention upward. You know, um, unfortunately, uh, uh, I feel like we've, although I know that there is a place for it, I feel like we create a lot of songs for the people about the people and you know, that our God is connected in that, but it's really more so about me. And I don't think that it's intentional, but it's just like, it's just a lot of that. And so um, I was just like, you know, I wanted to write a song that was 100% intentionally vertical. And now there are moments in the song where we kind of, 
rally the troops, if you will, and say, hey, let's all come together and still send our glory up, you know? And so, um, that's, that's what it was. That's what this is. And so my, my, my desire is to create music that does, uh, give language for people who may not know what to say or may Mm -hmm. not know how to do it. And so this song is one where it's just like, Hey, if you don't know exactly how to talk to God or how to give him some praise or whatever, here's a song that's easy. It's low hanging fruit. You can, you can join in on this, use these lyrics. I have another song that's like a, a whole repentive song. It's just like, I repent. I'm sorry for every time I put something before you that you created, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, it's just songs that, that will help people, to have a conversation and to build that relationship with God. That's the whole, that's the whole point of this album. Amen. Amen. We're talking with the one and only Isaiah Friedman this morning. Listen, um, uh, um, I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that. Cause, uh, uh, like this generation is, um, it's cool. Every generation has something with it. Sure. We all are discovering, you know, you know, you get beat up in church, you get beat up at work, you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you beat up everywhere. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, but to bring back, you know, you mentioned like, hey, I wanted to be vertical. Vertical is really has, has to do with worship music more so than, you know, when it goes to, the, you know, lyrically, you know, mm-hmm. and how you do it. Because sometimes people think worship is just a sound. I'm like, no, it's actually, yes. <laughs> it's actually it's in the lyrics because I'm worshiping. Worship is a lifestyle, me living for yes. Christ. Yes. And, um, yeah, it's, it, and, and it's beautiful, man. So, so, um all of your music is it that's what i'm saying part of your 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 mission is that something that god is bringing you to like like to come to bring it to the urban you know people or i should say you know those who uh patronize urban music Mm -hmm. uh more more so of a worship feel yeah so um for me it absolutely i i am a gospel singer i grew up on Mm -hmm. r&b soul funk you know um and so all of that is in me so you're going to get all of that you're going to feel the bass you're going to feel that kick drum you're going to feel all the things that are intrinsically urban or black you know those things that come natural to us how we naturally feel music and like all of those things are going to be there Mm -hmm. Um, but like you said you made a great point worship is not a sound um in the sense of chord progressions Mm -hmm. but it's a heart posture and mm-hmm. from out of your heart, it, you speak from your heart. And that's those lyrics that those words of adoration and all of those things. That's what worship is. So, um, you know, getting hung up on a certain sound or a certain mm-hmm. aesthetic and saying, well, this is worship. Well, I don't agree with that because in 1990s, worship looked a lot different. It sounded oh, yeah. a lot different. And Definitely. people were people were slain in the spirit yeah. off of something that they don't they they don't use that sound anymore, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. We, we we use it sometimes when we minister on um, if you're like preaching and you minister like sure. online, you have it as a backdrop. Sure. Um, I, I was just explaining to someone the uh, other the other day on my they came on the show, and I said I really try to stay away from pure worship music. Mm-hmm. Like, like the, like, you know, the whole, the whole feel of it. Mm-hmm. I said, because it takes me to a place where it's hard for me to get back on the mic and start talking. Mm-hmm. Like I instantly want to just go into worship, you know, you yeah. know, <laughs> I hear you. And you sitting there. It starts y'all. causing problems. Right. <laughs> it's just, it's, and I got somebody here. I got to review their book or something. I'm like, wait a yeah, minute, wait a minute. You're, gonna you're messing up the bag, man. You're taking me, you're taking me too far in. <laughs> You're messing up the bag. <laughs> listen, man. I tell you this. I, I I keep telling people. I say, listen. God is real, man. I say he you. Is. And I say, I so I just don't play with it. And that's something that my my pastor said to me years ago. She was like, whatever y'all do, you know, because we was in a you know part of the band. You know, everybody mm-hmm. part of a group when you are up. Sure. And I can't sing, so that's why I'm here. So, um, <laughs> but she said, you know, make sure just be intentional about what if you're going to do that, do that. If you're going to do this, do this, mm-hmm. but don't try to do something. Then cut the Holy spirit off and try to do something else in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. just flow. You know what I mean? If he's flowing with you and, you know, and talking and doing it, then do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But don't be, you know, bouncing back and forth and then you'll be in, in a stifling the spirit. But anyway, sure. 
Yeah. So, um, so you were uh, classically trained. I said, well, who, so who, he, who is he like the, uh, Chris at Michelle of gospel or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, um, I studied voice at central state university. I'm an alumnus from central state university, proud okay. HBCU graduate, um, and Woo-hoo. had the opportunity to travel the world, honestly, uh, with the central state university chorus under the direction mm. of William Henry Caldwell. And, um, yeah. so I'm, uh, classically trained baritone um had the opportunity to perform with the cleveland orchestra dayton philharmonic the cincinnati pops i've had the opportunity to perform for the the pope actually in italy went to the vatican and we sang um and so we this it's a long history actually my dad is a graduate from central state as well he studied under uh, under my director um when he wow. first when he first got there, my dad got there, so they kind of got there to, together, and then he retired a few years mm-hmm. after I after I uh, left Central State. So, yeah, it's um, amazing, 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 amazing story, uh, you know, and a being able being able to learn about the, my vocal instrument because you know most most in most gospel settings they don't teach you technique and all of that kind of stuff to understand your voice and your instrument yeah so being able to learn that has helped me a great deal yeah um in in my in my matriculation as a musician so yeah nah well, you, you can't be using big words like matriculation on, on this is an urban oh, show no, I'm playing my right. bad, my <laughs> hey, nah, man, we, we educated out here too man I, I, I know we are you know i'm just joking man you, you being you know you being trained and you know what you're listening for do you find yourself being like a stickler to yourself like like, like this is not right like have a little prince in you like not <laughs> like it, like it, I, I gotta get it right or, or i'm not going past this point or that point do you find that in you yeah, unfortunately, it's there. But um, I'm going to tell you, uh, Kevin Bond helped me out with that. I was doing some demo work for him a few years ago, mm-hmm. and I came in, and I wasn't in my best voice at all. Amen. And I was I was very, like, I was depressed about it. I was down about it. And he was just like, Isaiah, he's like, listen back to what 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 you cut. And he, he let me hear the playback, and I was just like, oh, wow. He said, so... You there's a problem with that? I said, no, it sounds good. He said, exactly. It sounds just mm-hmm. like you. So whatever you're hearing in your head or whatever you yeah. feel like you want it to sound like, we're not hearing that. What we hear is you. So just relax and just sing. Yeah. You know? And so he really helped he really helped me a lot because I was just like every little thing I wanted to be perfect. I wanted to do, you know, because I'm because I play with a lot of different things with my voice, tones, vibrato, you know, all types of things. I do a lot of little things and it's mm-hmm. just like in my head, it's like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And he was just like, dude, what you just that was great what you just did. And you yeah. and I'm sitting there like I'm sorry, it's not really that good. I mean, <laughs> you know, so yeah. that's helped that's helped me a lot. So now I just cut, you know, I just cut, and I, you know, I try to. Um, I don't like to add a whole bunch of app, uh, auto tune and all that. You know, if there's a little if there's a little crack in my voice or a little rasp, or it is mm-hmm. it is what it is. That's that's the way my voice sounds today. So that's the texture you gonna get today. <laughs> he get out the booth. That's a wrap. <laughs> hey, that's what you. Like, that's what y'all gonna get today. I'm not about to see unless it's just really the, like unless I'm just like okay, guys, let's just reschedule this session because I really have no voice. That's different. Uh, but, listen, yeah. man. Listen, I, I'm sitting up here. He come out. I'm, that's a wrap. They be like, wait a minute. Can we get some background vocals? Bro? He like, nah, 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 bro. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, you know, I always try to like pair up people. I, I do Christian music and I do gospel. Unfortunately, we have to separate it because we have we live in a racist country. Sure. But um, yes, he would sound great with with this young lady. Okay, he what really you would. Huh. Well, all right, yeah, right. you, you you gonna do it? You gonna put it I, down? I want to hear. I want to hear what you think. Right. Who you think? <clears throat> I don't know if you know her. Okay. Her name is Morgan Harper Nichols. I'm not familiar. You're not familiar with Morgan? I'm going to check her out, though. Okay. Morgan Harper Nichols. Now, if you go on Target, you'll see her products all over the place because she she got to deal with Target. She does the sketch and she, and she writes. Nice. But she's the big sister of Jamie Grace. I don't know, oh, you know, I who, know Jamie. who Jamie Grace is. Her sister, Morgan Harper. I don't know if you know this or not, but she did a lot of the 
real vocals for Lauren Dangle. Oh, okay. I'll leave. I'll leave that alone. Okay. Real <laughs> vocals. I hear you loud and clear. And, yeah, her voice is her, her voice is, is is awesome. But I, when I hear when I heard you, I was like, man, I, you know, you sound like Fred. But I was like, no, because you was doing some different things in, in this song with your voice too. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you were. You know what I mean? You were. Um, you were doing a switch up, like code switching. I'm playing. You want code switch, but <laughs> no, you were doing some some great stuff. You know what it. I mean? But I think when I when I hear her, I was like, man, they would really, really, y'all should knock three tracks out, man. I know hey, man, mean. make the connection. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> make the connection. Brother. Make the connection. I'm yeah, always down to work. I'm always down to work. Down the yeah. right. Let's do it. I, I think you. I think you're the real deal, though, man. Man, I appreciate I think you're the that, real man. deal. I, I love the I love the way you you embrace your kid coming in from school like now nah, come get that get, get, you got to get that hug and that kiss and you got to smell their yeah. hair that's fatherhood <laughs> man I keep telling yeah, my like like yo you don't you don't kiss and hug your kid well I be oh, like no I'm, absolutely <laughs> I'm like what's what's wrong with you <laughs> absolutely <laughs> like it's I I kiss we kiss them so much I had to tell them like okay that's enough because we it would be like especially like my daughters they come in and want to kiss me on my lips I'm like okay we get a little bit older for that now. <laughs> Like you gotta like my oldest daughter you always wanna kiss Brady me on the lips. They, my, my oldest daughter always wanna be like, Daddy, it's like okay, all right, I'm gonna kiss you on the side of the cheek. Like, Listen, <laughs> and, and you know but you know what makes it weird? It's society. Yeah, it is society. Cause it's not even it's, it's not even it, like that. It's nothing. And everybody look at mm, who he is. It, it's like we we put this stigma on our people. Yeah. Where we like, wait a minute, but to see that, that's Christendom. That's what Christ is about. And I, I always tell them, because um, I've been married 30 years. We got three kids. And my do- my dad, my, my daughter, I would go, Dad, you so weird. Why are you always looking at pe- you know, people with babies and speaking to them? I said, because. Yeah. I said, I don't have any grandkids. So yeah. when I look at other see little kids, I, I'm remembering like, oh my God, I have to pick this boy up. I have to take him to the to the barbershop and yeah. we would be in there laughing all morning long. And that and that's what it's about, man. So to see you yeah. to do that, man. I I know my interviews are different, bro. It's all right, man. I, I'm I'm black black. <laughs> I'm, I, it's all good. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, all right, cool, man. But I know. Cause I talk a lot. So, but I'm just saying, man, I, I just love to see that in you, man. Is that something that you, that came down for your dad and your granddad? Yeah. It's one of those things that, um, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, it's like you learn from, from your predecessors, mm-hmm. you know, it's just like, okay, these are some good things. And it's like, okay, well, here's some things that I would like to improve, uh, for me. And mm-hmm. so it's like, this was something I wanted to make a priority that, you know, I knew I would travel a lot because of my, you know, my career as a, as a musician, singer, all of that. And so whenever daddy w- was home, daddy would be home. You know, it's yeah. just like if I if I've been gone for three, four or five days, as soon it don't matter how tired I am. As soon as I walk through that door, I'm playing, I'm rolling on the floor, I'm doing, you know, and I've had conversations with myself in the car before <laughs> before I go into the house. And I'm just like, OK, breathe, be present play with them like yeah. you know, they don't care how tired you are like it don't matter how hard you've been working don't matter how long it took for you to get home they just want to play with daddy so i walk in that door i turn the energy up and i'm playing with them and i i do what i need to do and then when it's time for me to go to bed i pass out <laughs> you know <laughs> and so that's 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 the priority that's 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 what how i've um uh, how i've raised them um and and i can see that that fruit is already in them and how they interact with each other how they interact with uh, uh with us and so um yeah hey man no no i just um i appreciate it man i i think i think you the bomb man i just you know i just met you bro and um you know you the real deal, man. I appreciate it, man. I do. <laughs> no, there's you the real deal. Now, if, we, if you and I can only switch microphones because you got that uh, that that short SM7B, yeah. and I got and I and I have an imitation. So, I, <laughs> oh shoot, yeah. Well, I don't know because yours sounds pretty good to me. So, <laughs> hey, listen, because o- o- only because I look at specs, I got I, I grab the specs and go, okay, this oh, this will okay, th- th- do for now and until I I <laughs> get that seven. I got you. Oh well, shoot, you know I. Can I can give you the 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 the, uh, the cheat code. Yeah. <laughs> oh there's, man, there's a, there's a cheat code. Oh so really? I can give you a cheat. I'll tell you offline. 
Yeah, yeah, hey, there you go. There you go. Hey, listen, man. I I, I enjoy you, man. I really enjoyed you, man. I really think the uh, think the Lord is gonna um just really like just really use you, man. Uh you, man. greatly, man. It's something about being a um being a a dad who who understands, you know, intimacy with their kids and everything. That's so important, man. Yeah. People don't understand. You got to hug them boys, man. Yeah, Lord. That too. Because they, they going through, man, and people don't know. They just, because, you know, we thinkers, you, you see them, they just sitting there looking at the wall thing. You go, oh, Lord, it's the time you're going to overdrive. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. thinkers. Men are thinkers. We just think yeah. and, you know, ponder too long sometimes. But uh, nevertheless, man, you, you, you're doing a wonderful job. You, you know, great vocals, man. You look good on on, on your pictures. You know, thank you, so well, you I know, I, it. I I thank God for you and uh, much love, man. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate thank you, you for having me, man. And God bless. You know, have a wonderful day, man. And um, you know, just keep being a great dad, man. Thank you. I appreciate. It. What's going on? This is Isaiah Freeman. You're listening to the Praise Hallelujah Radio Show with Brother D and Sister A. Brother D, Sister A, on the Praise and Luja radio show. Thank <laughs> you.